have 1.2 million dairy cows in America's dairy land. We also have many other species of livestock that make our state unique. Here to tell us more about the diversity of livestock on Wisconsin farms is the 68th Alice in Dairyland, Tiana Lather. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Good, good, good. So how important is it to have diversity on our farms when it comes to animals. Yes, well here in Wisconsin we have 69,000 farms all across our landscape in our state. We have 14,000 beef farms as well as the 10,000 dairy farms in our state, but we also have more dairy goats than any other state wow. in the entire nation. So here in Wisconsin livestock diversity is incredibly important and it truly makes up that 88.3 billion dollar economic impact that agriculture has on our state. Wonderful. Now two of the unique animals are alpaca and yes. emu. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about alpaca and some of the products that uh, they're used for? Yeah, I think that people traditionally think of our feathers and fiber species as being chickens and turkeys and sheep in Wisconsin, but alpacas are one of the more interesting fiber species that we have. Their fiber is a very warm fiber because it's actually hollow on the inside, the oh, fiber itself. Interesting. So it retains a lot of heat but it's also water resistant, it wicks away moisture. And another interesting fact about it is that it's lanolin free. So it's generally known as a hypoallergenic fiber. Oh, that's nice for yes. people who, who deal with uh, sensitive skin yeah. and things like that. Exactly, great then, option. What about emu? Yeah, emu is another very interesting feathered species here in our state. And it provides a, a wide range of products that we can enjoy. They are meat birds, similar to chickens and turkeys, but it's actually a lean red meat that's oh. provided. So it's very heart healthy. It's been deemed heart healthy by the American Heart Association. And then they also provide emu oil, which is really great for healing cuts and abrasions, helps the skin heal a lot faster, and then also reduces scarring too. I never knew that. The more you know. Yes. Well, people I'm sure would love to go see some of these animals. Uh, can you tell us how, how they can go see them and maybe get some of these products? Oh, absolutely. A great way to get out and enjoy the many farms that we have here in Wisconsin, especially at this time of the year in the fall, is to use the website visitdairyland.com. And this is actually the Wisconsin Agricultural Tourism Association website. And so you can find different events on farms throughout the state by location or date that might have some of these more unique species for you to learn a little bit more about Wisconsin livestock diversity. Well, great. And we will have a link to that website on our website, NBC15.com. We'll be right back.